And now on the line is Eilish Dillon. Eilish is the head of the Department of International Development at Minute University. Eilish, welcome to the programme. Uh, thanks a million, Darren. Eilish, as this is my first interview with you and that I believe your department in Minute is only on the go a few years, could you start off by telling our listeners what exactly it means to study international development at Minute University? And then could you tell our, our listeners a bit about how your department was founded, please? Sure. Um, there are lots of different ways of understanding international development. And um, it's about the development of people and countries and about the relations between them, the different factors which lead to development or underdevelopment or overdevelopment in our world. So it's basically about our world, about sustainability, kind of equality, human rights, social justice, the, the challenges we face and how we overcome them. And our department was established in 2018 at Maynooth University and it transferred over from the Kimmage Development Study Centre, which had been in, in operation for over 40 years, basically uh, running programmes, academic and professional programmes for, for, for people who work in international development, whether that's in... Uh, um, organisations or agencies in Ireland that do education and campaigning work or on global development issues in other countries. Uh, many of our students uh, today and in the past have, have come from countries around the world where they work in community development or with kind of local government, uh, sometimes on issues like fair trade or with business as social entrepreneurs or working with international bodies such as the UN. So we moved to Maynooth University in 2018, established the department there. And for us, the, the subject of international development is about enabling people to critically engage in learning for a better world. Okay. giving them the, the kind of the knowledge and the understanding and the skills to make a difference. That's really what it's about. That's very interesting, yeah. And I was in, um, I interviewed Rob Cavanagh uh, from the Cambridge Development Study Centre a couple of times a few years ago. Uh, could you tell me, Irish, uh, what you do personally at the department in Minute? Yeah, um, I'm the head of department at the Department of International Development in Maynooth. And uh, what that really involves is I'm a lecturer, first and foremost, in, in international development theory and practice. And I lecture in research methods and prepare students for undertaking research on kind of development issues in their own country or in their own specific context. But I'm also like, I, I suppose I'm involved in, in management. I manage the de department with my colleagues. I'm like the principal of a small department within a much bigger broader university mm. and we're part of the faculty of social sciences so basically our whole thing is about uh, engaging in looking at the human side and the social side and the environmental impacts of development issues so it's all about people at the heart of development and we run and I kind of oversee I suppose the management of uh various academic programs, but also professional development programs. And we have a BA program, um, a subject uh, of international development on the undergraduate Bachelor of Arts program. And we also have uh, a master's in international development and uh, a fairly new and specialised master's in peace building, security and development practice. And we're also hoping to run a new certificate course for educators on kind of global education, global citizenship education. So that's the kind of thing we do. OK, when you say you are part, part, part of the Department of Social Science, are you, like, is there an independent department called the Department of International Development? Yeah, so so we we're there's there's a number of departments in a bigger faculty. Okay. It's the way universities are organised, and when it's a, I suppose when you're part of, so we're an independent, uh, independent but connected department. We have a separate department of international development. Our focus is on international development and development, kind of I, sp I suppose making local and global connections and looking at the the you know the environmental impact of. Uh, of on development or looking at what are the the 
the pol- political or economic dimensions of development. That's the kind of stuff we do in our department. And then as part of the Faculty of Social Sciences, it in social science, you kind of look at those whole, all the different systems and how the political, the economic, the cultural and the environmental all impact on the way we live our lives and our human relations. And that's why we're part of that faculty, if you like. It's a bigger, much bigger faculty. There's thousands of students mm. in the faculty and, and hundreds in our department. Okay, that's good. Hundreds, hundreds in, in, the, in the Department of Social Science or International Development or both? In international development, in international development. Oh. So, for so yeah, so studying international development in first year, we've approximately 150 students or more, oh. and then right up through second and third years, may, maybe 60 in each year or so, and then we have 20 plus masters students every year. So we would be considered a, a relatively small department, but but at the same time, uh, even within that, it's. Uh, it's great that we're having an impact, if you like, on the learning of, you know, basically into the hundreds every year of students at Manute. Mm-hmm. So there's huge interest in our programs because really we look at contemporary issues and we look at we don't just look at development as something that's about other countries. It's about what we do here in Ireland and about you know, the the big challenges of our day and of our future. And so lots of people want to learn not only about what causes them, but what can they do to make a difference? What can they do to change the way things are in the world, to make it a fairer, better world? Uh, So it's, it's, uh, it's very gratifying that we engage with so many students asking critical questions about the challenges facing us and what we can do about them. You must have approximately over 200 students or do you have more yeah i'd say you'd be you'd be talking about 200 to 250 to 300 students in any one year yeah and uh, just yeah. just uh when you say you do it, people when, when people do it in first year as part of the arts course is it i think it's the arts course is it a, a module mm-hmm. like or what sorry no, no, it's a subject. So oh, in oh, first year, people take different oh, subjects. Yeah. So sometimes maybe three subjects in first year and maybe two. Then it, now, it doesn't always work exactly like that, but maybe three subjects in first year and two in second and third year. So it's a subject with four modules in first year. And then in second and third year, there are six modules or so that somebody does. So it's quite in-depth. And we cover a range of topics like we have modules or courses, for example, in things like migration and land rights or on how to develop pro- projects. Uh, there's a module in third year on media and development and on global movements and human rights. So they look at and my colleagues and different colleagues teach modules focusing on, for example, the impact of the environment on development or sustainability. Another another lecturer focuses on the economic dimensions of development, like how governments or businesses and international organizations make decisions which support equality or inequality and what what skills can be developed to ensure that business can be more progressive, for example. And somebody else deals with conflict and development and somebody else is very much involved in the whole side of projects and manage, managing development practice, that kind of thing. So there are a whole range of different modules that students can take on their undergraduate programme and then much more specialised in their postgraduate study. And when people are doing a further undergraduate, it's, it's an arts degree, is it? Part of an it's arts, an arts degree. degree. Part of- uh, parts to part of their arts degree. I'm delighted to hear that because I, I didn't think uh, you could. So, I didn't think it was that kind of big. If you know what I mean, that's great. You know. Uh, okay, yeah. Ali, okay, Ali, you just told me there about uh, it's kind of a lot of the modules you do over the over the years. Can you tell me a bit more about the other lecturers you have working with you? 
Yeah, so we have we have lecturers, I guess, who are engaged in that kind of those different specialisms that I mentioned to you earlier on. Some people are specialised in kind of practice oriented modules and how to work with communities and working around uh, development and education. So that some of our some of our lecturers are involved in that. Others are engaged in uh, we, as I mentioned, we have the specialised masters in peace building, security and development practice. So one of our lecturers has a background in kind of conflict management, conflict resolution and mediation. So that's his particular area of focus. And an, an, another person, uh, her focus is very much around um, yeah, managing development organizations and about uh, project planning. So there's, there's some of us are more specialized in the kind of theory and research side of things and others are more kind of practical oriented. And then we have, we have another lecturer who does a lot of gender work, land rights in Africa and, and gender analysis and feminist, feminist perspectives mm -hmm. on development. So there's a whole range of us. Many of us um, have a lot of experience in the develop, in different developing contexts and develop, uh, development work roles, I guess. Um, my own background is in education, global citizenship or global education. Um, and we bring that practice then to bear in our in our teaching and in our own research as well. Okay. I don't know, does that answer your question, yeah, there? Yeah, 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 yeah. I personally, I have an interest. I've been covering global issues for a near FM and radio and left for around 10 years this year, but uh, I have an interest in education and global health as well, you know. Okay, uh, I'll yeah. just move, I won't keep you much longer. Just to talk about the bigger global picture in terms of international development, C can you tell me, do, 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 do you think if we, by which I mean most of the average people in Ireland, know enough about what's going on in the world in terms of international issues in, in, the, in the global south, like global poverty and inequality? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I suppose I'm 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 bound to say this, but I have a, a sense that we need to learn so much more about what's going on in our world. And there's a lot of research has been done on what people in Ireland understand about global development and poverty. Uh, most recently, um, a, a worldview research was carried out by DOCUS, uh, well, on behalf of DOCUS around these issues. And I've done a lot of research myself on the kind of education that's needed to create create that kind of better, you know, more sustainable world, a more equal world. And from, from my research and from the worldview research, there's no question, but people are really interested in international development in Ireland. There's a huge commitment to kind of a, more, a, a general, broad, global equality. They want to create a fairer world, but many people at the same time very much have a stereotyped view of it. And they often don't understand, or lots of us don't understand, the forces that are shaping our world or realise indeed that we can do an awful lot to change them. And I think that learning more about global poverty and inequality, but also about our role in relation to them and what we can do, that, that, that's really important. And, and, and one, our students, for example, they tell us that one of the things they learn is how to ask questions, but also then how, how, to, how to act for change. So my view is, I, I have a sense myself, and I've done a TED talk on this, uh, about this whole thing about that a lot of us feel disconnected from the wider world. And in order, that that sense of disconnection stops us from, from doing what we might want to do to make the world better. Um, and learning through international development or global education, that gives us that sense of connectedness to other people. And, and kind of we can see that what we do in our lives actually matters. The, who we vote for, what, what, what we eat, how we live, how we shop, all of those things actually make a difference. And, and when you study international development, especially when you ask critical questions about the way the world is, it really helps you to develop that sense of connectedness and also a sense of solidarity with other people. Not to be overwhelmed by the problems, but actually in getting active, 
to realize that we can do an awful lot more. And I think that's really important. Okay, I was just going to ask you there, Irish, I think you've already answered the question. I was going to ask you, why why you, uh, would you recommend that people learn about international development in general at your university? But uh, I think you've kind of answered that already. One big thing I enjoy about covering global issues on this programme on Near FM and sometimes doing so on Squelga on the station and on Radio and Liffa is, is the kind of feeling or sense of global solidarity I feel with many other people around the world in terms of some of the issues being covered. Would you be a big believer, Irish, in believing that studying international development contributes to global solidarity? Yeah, I, 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 I guess I think it's really essential because I think that often when we, when we, when we understand things and when we understand what's happening, the forces that are shaping our world for good and ill, if you know, like what's making our world kind of maybe overdeveloped at times or underdeveloped when we understand that then we can act more in solidarity rather than out of a sense of benevolence or charity and one of the things that really strikes me Darren is that a lot of people think that international development is what happens in the global south for me international development is about what happens everywhere it's about the relations that we have in our world how what happens and what we do here affects what happens here, but also what happens in the global south. It's about uh, the systems that create poverty and inequality in Ireland and the systems that create poverty and inequality around the world. And I feel that sometimes when people don't understand those dynamics, they're, they they get stuck in a kind of a charity mode or stuck in, in, in stereotypes of everything is fine here and things are terrible elsewhere, when actually there are really strong systems that are causing inequality and, and, and disadvantage and exploitation all around the world. And we need to understand those so that we genuinely act in solidarity with each other and challenge the systems that that cause human rights abuses, that cause racism, sexism, that really discriminate against people and really, I suppose, to create an alternative world together in solidarity. We need to understand what's going on and what we can do to make it better, I guess. That's my sense of it. Darren, thanks. Just to say if anybody is interested in our programs at Maynooth University. Um, we have, as I say, lots of different programs and you'll find out lots more about us and about the Department of International Development on our website. That's uh, www.maynoothuniversity.ie forward slash, slash international dash development. So thanks a million, Darren. It's really nice chatting to you today.